Hey guys, in my last video I demonstrated how you can use ChatGPT and Python to automate Excel. This time I will take it a step further and show you how ChatGPT can help you to automate Outlook, make PowerPoint presentations from scratch, create interactive charts, merge PDFs, compose well-written emails and even create an entire website. The results are truly impressive and I strongly believe after watching this video you will be able to automate some of the tedious office tasks you may have. So without further ado, let's dive in. Let us start with the first example. In my attachments folder I have a bunch of Excel files. I want to send these Excel files to different receivers using Outlook. To do this I have prepared an overview in the financialdata.xlsx workbook. In my previous video we also used this workbook to create the attachments. This is because all the data for the different countries can be found in this worksheet. If you are interested in how to split a table like this into separate workbooks, you might want to check out that video. But for our use case, let us switch back to the email list. I want ChatGPT to create a Python script that reads data from the sheet email list in an Excel workbook called financialdata.xlsx. The code should use the data in columns A, B, C and D to compose and open Outlook emails with different attachments and recipients. Also it should locate the attachments in a folder called attachments, located in the same directory as the Excel workbook and construct the file path to the attachments. The script should use the recipient's name from column B in the email text and the recipient and CC email addresses from column C and D respectively. Lastly, Python should open Outlook emails but should not send them until further actions are taken. And overall the Python code should be robust. This was the prompt I used in ChatGPT. For some reason I got a warning that this prompt violated the content policy. I am not sure why that is but nonetheless ChatGPT generated the following code for me. At the bottom it also highlighted that I need to have Outlook installed on my computer. I then took the code and pasted it into an empty Python file. When I ran this code, Outlook created an email for each country. As we can see, it got everything right. The email addresses, including the CCs, attachments and text are all correct. It even inserted some text saying that the financial data can be found attached. This is pretty impressive in my opinion. The only thing I noticed is that Python also returned a depreciation warning. So the code runs now, but might lead to an error in the future. So I copied the warning and pasted it into the chat. To my surprise, ChatGPT acknowledged that this should be fixed and provided me with a modified version. All I had to do was copy and paste the adjusted version and run the code again. This time the emails got still created, but without any warnings. Great, so for now the emails are only created and not directly sent out. This is exactly what I wanted. But perhaps in the future, I want to send out the emails directly. So I asked ChatGPT how I could send out the emails and it explained to me which line of code I would need to change and suggested further error handling. Okay, and with that let us move on to the second example. This time I want ChatGPT to create an entire PowerPoint presentation from scratch. As before I have the same Excel files. Let me actually open up one so that you can see the content. Each line represents a sales record for the respective country and I would like to group the sales by product. From the aggregated data I would like to create a bar chart and insert that chart into PowerPoint. Let us see how we can do that with ChatGPT. This time I wrote down the steps in bullet points. The Python script should access the input folder and read all files within it. For each file the data is located from columns A to P. Any missing values should be excluded. Then Python should group the sales by product. Afterwards I want to create a chart using the Seaborn library. I was specific about which library I wanted to use. I also tried it without mentioning the Python package. In that case ChatGPT picked the matplotlib library. So it's good to be specific about the library you want to use, especially when you have a particular requirement. But in any case those charts should be saved in a folder named charts and it should create the folder if it doesn't exist already. Afterwards Python should create a PowerPoint presentation and insert a slide for each chart. It should also include a title and once everything is done the presentation should be saved as financialdata.pptx. Additionally the code should include error handling. Alright, so this was a very long prompt 
and I was really curious if ChatGPT understood what I wanted to achieve. So here is what ChatGPT responded to my prompt. As before, I took the code, pasted it into an empty Python file and executed it. Also, this time, I received a future warning, but the code ran successfully. So when I go back to my directory, we can see that we now have a new charts folder. Within this folder, we now have an image for each Excel file, where we can see a bar chart of the aggregated sales by product. So this is already working. And the PowerPoint can be found in the input folder. Now, this presentation doesn't look visually appealing and the charts overlaps with the title, but I think this is a good starting point for any further customization. We now have a slide for each country for the product sales without writing a single line of code. The only thing I want to change now is that the PowerPoint presentation should be saved in the same directory as the Python script. So I switched over to the chat and asked for an updated version. As before, I then took the updated code and executed it. This time we have the presentation right next to the Python script. Okay, and with that, let us move on to the next example. Maybe instead of a static image, you might want to create an interactive chart from your Excel data. So we will use the same data as before. And this time I simply want to sum up the sales for each country and plot it in an interactive chart. Now in many companies, you might use corporate colors for your charts. So I also included the color code in my prompt. And just like that, ChatGPT generated the following Python code and suggested further error handling. So I then asked for the full script that also included the error handling part. And then I received the following code. So I took the code and ran it in my text editor. Once that was done, I had a new HTML file in my folder. If you open this file, you will now have an interactive chart that shows the sales for each country. Okay, and with that, let us move on to the next example. And this example was actually sent to me by a subscriber of mine. His task was as follows. He has two folders, cover and draft. In the cover folder, we have a couple of PDFs and the file name is just a number. And this is what the PDF looks like. So basically, this is the cover for the following PDF file. And you can find this PDF file in the drafts folder. Now he needs to combine those two files into one. So that we first have the cover and then the correct PDF from the drafts folder. And this is what I asked ChatGPT to do. The important part is here. I provided ChatGPT with an example of how those files should be matched. And that was already enough to understand the pattern of the files and ChatGPT came up with the following solution. All I had to do was copy and paste the code into my text editor and execute it. However, I received the following error message. So I took the error message and pasted it into the chat. In return, I received an adjusted version of the code. And this time the code ran without any errors. If I check my directory, we will now have a new output folder with the merge PDF files. So to validate the result, let me open up the first PDF file. As we can see, we now have the merge cover with the draft. This can be a massive time saver because imagine you will need to do it manually for hundreds or even thousands of files. So now that you have automated many tedious office tasks, you can also ask ChatGPT to write an email to your manager requesting a salary increase. Without much effort, ChatGPT has created a well-written email providing your manager with the reasons on how the automated solutions are helping the company and why you should receive a salary increase. I think these examples are pretty mind-blowing. And I hope this video has inspired you to automate some of the tedious tasks you may have. I've actually hosted all of the prompts I used throughout the video online. You can find them at the following web address. By clicking on the link, you will find the respective chat history. And perhaps you've guessed it already, but even this entire website was created by ChatGPT. You can also find the source code under the following link. Alright guys, and that is all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below what you think about ChatGPT. I would be curious to know if you have been able to automate any task. And as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.